This episode of Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures is sponsored by Linode. Oh my gosh. We have official Microsoft Windows 7 napkins. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really, that's just great. You know, I'm not doing too great right now because Windows 7 has gone end of life and I'm really, really sad. Oh, f that's steel wool. <laughs> Ah, anyway, hey, remember those Windows 7 house parties that Microsoft used to host? Yeah, 2009 was a very confusing time. Well, we're bringing it back. We're gonna host our own Windows 7 house party and you're invited. Ready to join? All right, I got most of the decorations ready. That looks good. I'm just waiting on some guests and the house party box and, um, oh yeah, the iodine pills. Uh, let's check the radiation level. Uh, yeah, we should be okay for a couple more hours still. Man, I, I tell you, the air down here is still really poisonous. Ah, who's that? Hey, no uh, door? I got a package here for a- uh, Oh, hey! Chris E.T. Ken? Yeah, we got it. Wait, what? My, my name is Crazy Ken, but hey, close enough. Whatever. Uh, sign here for me, please. Uh, Sure. Okay. All right. There you go. Hey, thank you. Nope. Oh, and there. More? Okay. Um, I never had to do this. The son of your firstborn here. Uh, I don't have any kids that I know of, but okay. And this one's for naval protection from pork pirates. Naval protection? You know, I'm not even going to ask, but I'll take that anyway. There we go. Cool. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. Awesome. And, uh, oh. We got, we got it, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mind if I, uh, do the party? Uh, you want to... Sure, you know what? The more the merrier. Go ahead. Cool, I mean, I only have like, what, seven hours left on my shift? I can clock out now. Uh, okay, fine. You do what you want to do, the more the merrier, right? Cool, thanks. So, uh, ah! I... You took my hat. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. We're going to take this box into the lair, and we're going to explore it. We're going to see what's inside of it, and then you and I are going to perform our very own installation commemoration. And then, it's party time! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hey, more guests. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Don't we have a door? Or... Both of them? Uh, no, I don't have a... a that mind. that works, too. Um, anyway, guys, uh, go ahead. Just get comfy. Enjoy yourselves. You know, put on some hats. Blow on some horn things. Do whatever you want to do. And hopefully the cake will be here soon, too, because it's going to be delicious. But in the meantime, I do have to get this box down to the lair before the guards come into... Whoa! 37254, get on your feet now! Okay, okay. Get up! Take, take it easy! Come with me! Easy. Hold this. Uh, okay. Damn, this is like the second worst party I've ever been to. Now get in there and get to work! Okay, 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 gee, whoa! Hey, you know, one of these days, one of you guys is gonna have to tell me what I'm doing trapped down here. I still have no idea what's going on, and the lore is not developing any faster! <sighs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy the Windows 7 installation commemoration on this laptop momentarily. But first, let's take a look at what we get with the official Microsoft Windows 7 house party package. Now, I gotta thank one of our awesome viewers for pointing this out to me. It was on Shmibe, and it doesn't come with everything, apparently, that the original package came with, but hey, it's better than nothing. So let's take a look. All right, so, first up, Windows 7 Home Premium. This is what we'll use for the installation commemoration, obviously. Oh my gosh. So, we have official Microsoft Windows 7 napkins. Still in the shrink wrap. I kind of don't want to open these up. That's kind of cool that they're still wrapped up. But yeah, you spill your Windows 7 booze, you know. Wipe them up with the napkin. Uh, looks like we have a playing card deck here. Okay, so one of these things, th this was something they did with Windows 7. They had a lot of very, we'll just say unusual artwork, especially in those new wallpapers. I don't really know what this stuff was supposed to be, but it, it's not very artistic to me. I know art is subjective. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. It looks like a blue alligator with kosher pickle gums wearing a grim reaper cape and blue dress shoes riding on top of a ladybug that was crossbred with a pickle. And... They're wearing a candle on their head. Okay, so go ahead and decipher this if you want to. Very bizarre art, but cool to have. Okay, what else do we got in the package? 
Well, this is a big one. Oh boy. Hello. So, more of the very unusual artwork, yes, but uh, make it yours, Windows 7. What else is in here? Ooh, yes, the... <laughs> Gamera is friend to all children. That's a bit of a stretch reference, but yes, we have the sea turtle with the village on the shell. I'm sure that means something to somebody, but it's a puzzle. <laughs> we could actually put together this wallpaper as a puzzle. So you can do that at your party as well. It also looks like we have these like table tent sort of things. Your PC simplified, so you're kind of just advertising at your party, but that's pretty much what it is in the first place. And it looks like you can attach them together. The vibe seems off. You got this very happy lady and then this guy doesn't look too happy. I'm sure he's just concentrating on his work, but I don't know, I would have done those a little bit differently. So it looks like you can just attach them together like, like so. And uh, I suppose that works. Oh, this is pretty cool. We got some things we can give away to the guests. Windows 7 tote bags. Oh, there's a lot in here, holy cow. With some more of that artwork on them and the Windows 7 logo. Heck yeah, dude. All of your party guests get a free tote bag. It's all worth it now. Oh, there's more. Oh my gosh. All of my guests are gonna be getting some awesome tote bags and maybe a napkin. Okay, so that is the end of this box, which is pretty sweet. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. I think doing these house parties 10 years later is actually gonna be more cool than when they were originally an actual thing Microsoft was doing. Okay, so now that we have all the cool stuff unboxed, let's take a look at doing the actual installation commemoration itself. Now, full disclaimer, I did wanna do this on an actual PC, but most of the PCs I have lying around the layer are not even from this decade. Uh, the only ones were these Lenovo ones and they don't have an optical drive. And apparently my external disk drive didn't wanna work so well with them. I tried booting it up, uh, the installer loaded, but then I kept getting this driver error. And to be honest, I didn't really give a crap and I didn't wanna fix it too much further because we still have this Intel system. We can just pretend it's a generic PC and we can install Windows 7 on it and have a good time. So that's what we're gonna do. So the box has some other stuff in it and we can go through that later while the installation is going. But for now, let's bust out the shiny CD and throw it in the optical drive. And yes, I am using an external optical drive because the built-in one has a couple mechanical problems, which are likely evident in the other episode this MacBook was in. And let's boot up. I am ready for a bit of a nostalgia trip because it's been a long time since I've actively used Windows 7 and we should get that cool startup screen very soon. There we go. Yes, oh, I missed the screen. It glowed and it was so pretty. Here come the orbs, here they come. And, oh yes. Oh, it's gone already. Let's do English US, that's pretty nice. Install now. Yes, I read it all, you just weren't looking. So we're not doing an upgrade, we are doing a custom installation, I suppose you would call it. Can't be installed because it's probably not NTFS. So we'll go to drive options and, yeah, format, not delete. Format, da 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 da, that should be it. Then it should be good to go, partition three. And there we go, the, the copy is already done, I guess. So now it's gonna expand and that's gonna run for a few minutes. And while that's going, we can take a look at some other goodies inside of the box. For example, the product key. Ha, nope, just kidding, I'm not gonna show that. That would be stupid. Upgrading from Windows XP? No, we're not, so we don't need the instructions, but it basically talks about run the Windows Upgrade Advisor and then use Easy Transfer to restore files and settings. I don't think I ever did that even when I did upgrade like 10 years ago. And then we have our little booklet. Oh my gosh, I remember when I first did the installation of this. Oh my gosh, in my little coat closet studio like 10 years ago. <laughs> On the first MacBook Pro I ever purchased, the first computer I ever purchased, that was, that was a time. But yeah, it shows how you can personalize your settings and you know, Windows Vista introduced the cool arrow theme and Windows 7 just took it a little bit further. And uh, it talks about all these cool features, the thumbnail previews, the pinning and the taskbar. Snap, Snap is probably the coolest feature in Windows. That's probably the coolest feature Microsoft has ever made. There's the new taskbar and the new start menu. And we'll be exploring all of this stuff as part of a traditional installation 
sensation or commemoration, we will explore the system. Oh yeah, Media Center was a thing. Yes, I don't have cable, but we can still fiddle with it a little bit. Get these free Windows Live programs now. Connect your personal cloud and get connect to your personal cloud and get 25 gigabytes of free online storage. Yeah, Windows Live Movie Maker and all that good stuff. Essentials.live.com. I wonder if it probably just redirects to something totally different now. Okay, so we're still on 0%. Good. Progress was made. 3%. 4. Yes. Okay, we're going somewhere. 86% complete. This is the part that takes the longest. The rest is pretty lickety split. Oh gosh, when was the last time you heard someone say lickety split? Oh. While the installation keeps going, let's take a sec to talk about our sponsor today, Linode. No matter what skill level you're at or what technology stack you use, Linode makes it easy to give your creations their own personal space on the internet. If you just need something small, like a simple website, game server, or personal VPN, Linode has you covered. If you need to manage tons of websites and reliably serve them to millions of visitors, well, guess what? Linode can do that too. Unlike entry-level hosting services that lock you into their platform, Linode gives you full back-end access to customize and control your server to fit your needs. Their DNS manager allows you to easily switch your domain to your new server, and SSL certificates can be installed for free using open source tools. And here's another cool thing. If you run into any problems getting set up, Linode comes with amazing 24-7 customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of docs to help get you started. And because you're here, and because we're all best friends, you amazing Computer Clan viewers get a free $20 credit on a new Linode account with my code CompClan20. And if you don't like typing in codes, you can sign up with the link in the description. All right, let's check back in on the installation. And we're going to updates now. I'm guessing we'll connect to the internet later. Yeah, and actually install those. And it's gonna restart. Let's just restart it now and save eight seconds. And we're rebooting into part two. If that logo had a sound, what do you think it would sound like? How does that make you feel? And we're in the completing phase now. Okay, it's gonna restart again. Oh yes, I forgot about this like Aurora progress bar thing. Checking video performance. So there is the Windows index thing, which I don't think is part of Windows anymore. We will have fun with that too. Okay, type a username. Crazy Ken and Crazy Ken PC. Sure, how original, that works fine. And I could type in the product key, but I'm gonna do it later. <laughs> and nope, go back. Recommended settings. Let's connect to the hidden layer network. Now, oh, yeah, so when you type in the security key, apparently it doesn't block out what you type in. Well, nobody better be watching you. Anyway, home network. And we do need to install bootcamp drivers just so Windows works better on the Mac hardware. I do have my Mac OS X disk for that. We will do that later. Oh yes, the glossy progress bars, yes. Oh. All the old artwork and the, the dove and the olive branch and everything. Oh man, it's all coming back to me. I haven't used anything before Windows 8 in quite a long time. Unless you count like Windows 95 and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's 2020. We made it this far. It's also the anniversary of Windows 2000 and it's the anniversary of Windows 95, 20th and 25th anniversary respectively. So. I'm sure I'll do future episodes on that stuff too, so do stick around for that. And here we are, we're at the default desktop with the basic theme. Not very exciting looking right now, but I'm probably not able to turn on more cool Aero stuff until we get, uh, I think there was an NVIDIA chip in here, so yeah, we need to get the NVIDIA drivers installed, but the Bootcamp Assistant should be able to do all of that automatically. So Apple conveniently just has all the Windows support drivers on the OS disk, run setup. Well, sh Really? Bootcamp X64 is unsupported. Um, well, this is a 64-bit computer. Okay, this is odd. Well, what the sh**, Bootcamp? Start talking to me, because it says X64-based PC, so... I'm also thinking this error message is just being triggered by, like, a false positive or something. It's really not a 64-bit compatibility problem, it's some other compatibility problem, but it doesn't know what it is, so it's just throwing up whatever error message it finds. On a side note, I always found it amusing that Windows 7 is actually version 6.1, but, you know, that's just me. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to think about this for a sec. You know, just for shits and giggles, we may need to use a Leopard disk because this computer came out before Snow Leopard came out, so we just might need to go back a couple years. Beautiful artwork, by the way. Hey, preparing to install! Eh, oh, 
This program has known compatibility issues. We're just gonna say run. And installation should be done. It did give me a couple errors, but hopefully we're okay. And let's rate the computer, just for fun. All right, let's see how this 2008 MacBook performs. Oh my gosh, the old shiny loading windows and stuff. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> the Windows Experience Index for your system cannot be computed. Could not measure storage performance. Unable to start the kernel logger. The logger is in use by another application. Please stop the kernel logger and try again. How about no? As long as stuff is running smooth, like, I don't care. So I guess we're not gonna be able to get that, unfortunately. But let's get the cool appearance turned on. It's not turning on. Troubleshoot, okay. So I may just have to install the driver manually. I jumped into the bootcamp disc, this time the Snow Leopard one. I don't know if it makes a difference. And I'm manually launching the display driver. So hopefully we can at least get the graphics working. Okay, it says, please wait. Is it gonna work? Drum roll, please. Hopefully. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Look at that good old arrow. Ooh yeah, the frosted glass. I'm having some problems dragging on this trackpad right now. But yeah, there we go. Have the little peak feature where you can look at the desktop. I was looking at the booklet and apparently if you hold down windows and space, you can do that too. I legitimately did not know that, that's great. And of course you have the little glowing start button, which is always fun. And now that is translucent as well. Oh man, that looks so cool. Okay, here's our old website. It's not gonna render too well in here. But yeah, remember this feature? Flip 3D. It was like alt tab, except bigger. <laughs> uh, I remember just being able to do that. It was like, oh my gosh, you were the coolest kid in school. <laughs> All the things we do for nothing. Let's bust out the media center. I don't have any media on here though. Nor do we have sound. Well, it wouldn't be a Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures episode without some technical problems. That's just the nature of the show. The Crazy Ken curse is a real thing. I just checked, yes, we have a red light in the headphone jack, which means sound is not working properly. Let's see if this does the trick. Oh gosh. <laughs> nice, nice interface. Getting that old Windows 3.1 look mixed with a little bit of like silver XP-ness. Oh, XP-ness, that's not something you should say. Hey, that's what I was waiting for. We got the sound working now. It's gonna reboot and uh, we should be good. There we go. Oh man, Express. I need to get some media on here though. There's some sample pictures, right? So we have those at least. Good old sound effects, the Aurora visuals, oh man. So good. Let's get some of our own Computer Clan stuff on here. So I'm downloading some more content onto my computer with uh, Dropbox in the background here, but I was trying to install some other software like iTunes and stuff just to have quick time and all that. And I keep getting error messages and I'm guessing it's because I don't have any service packs installed or anything. I really don't know. It's been so long since I've used Windows 7. Anyway, we're gonna try this because we have 10 important updates and 13 optional updates. Oh yeah, and those jump lists. Whoop, like that. I think that was a new thing in Windows 7 as well. Very nice. Ah, some updates were not installed. I have had very little luck installing anything today. A lot of errors. Uh, and encountered an unknown error. Well, that makes it so much easier to figure out what it was. If anyone wants to look up code 800B0109, have fun. So now we get to enjoy this part, stage one of three. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but this is important. Your PC is running an outdated version of Windows 7. That is kind of why we are here though, and I know it's end of life, but we are here to celebrate its life. So now that those updates are out of the way, we can do Surface Pack 1, 64-bit. While we're waiting for updates to install, we might as well set one of our Computer Clan wallpapers. Yeah, that one, uh, that one don't look too bad. I shot that in Chicago, very beautiful. Oh yeah, arrow shake. Remember that feature? Does Windows still do that? I don't even know. Okay, two of 10. We have a ways to go. Okay, it's configuring and done. All the service pack stuff is good to go. I was able to install iTunes as well, just for some media playback. Let's bust open Media Center now that we actually have some content on here. Here's some of the stuff I loaded on here earlier. Looking good. Complete with sound effects. 
Okay, and video. So the weird thing here is um, it's 4K H.264 video and I just don't think it's able to parse it out of the box. Because if we watch my Apple prototypes video, you can see the thumbnail doesn't load and you hit play, but yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. So since we can't get that to load in media player or media center, excuse me, we always have the good old wildlife video. So that looks like it works pretty good, but I did install iTunes just so we could play that other H.264 file and see how Ultra HD H.264 plays on this 2008 computer. My hopes are low. Hey, bonus episode time. Just gonna Welcome. mute it while we talk about Apple prototypes. This, this is another good video we did, so definitely check it out. But yeah, it's definitely dropping a lot of frames. The sound was playing okay, but yeah, frame rate, performance, <laughs> playback, that's gonna be a bit rough. Ooh, the Acorn iPhone prototype, very nice. But yeah, I didn't expect too much from this older computer. Pretty good, hit a few roadblocks, but overall, worked out pretty decently. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, that was a fun nostalgia time travel trip. And you know, there's many other things I could do, but I really have to get back to the party. It was also fun to explore all of these Windows 7 house party goodies. And uh, I do need to bring them back right now because otherwise FOMO is gonna kick in. I gotta get back. See you at the party. Uh, so, how do you know this Ken guy? Who's Ken? Hey, I'm back, everybody! Tote bags! You get a tote bag! You get a tote bag! Everybody gets a tote bag! Yeah! Ah, ah, uh, you guys made a mess of the place. What? Uh, uh, it was like this when we got here. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, guys, um, d does anybody want a tote bag? I got like a bunch of them now. Here. Gee, thanks. By the way, while you were gone, um. I uh, oh! found this cake in the car between the car seats. Sorry, between the seats. Uh, oh, I love the little like specks of blood on the logo there. <laughs> That's really cool. Because uh, he's uh, dead, get right. it? Yeah. Uh, that is fake blood, right? Totally. Anyway, that looks pretty freaking good. Check that out. Oh, and while you were gone, your uh, virtual assistant found some user submitted videos from guests who couldn't make it. Oh, there's more people that couldn't come. That's great. We're not so lonely after all. Hey, Vio, go ahead and roll that tape. Playing video. I've got a great tip. Simply untick the update and Windows 7 never ends. Yay! Oh no, it's almost January 14th. I'll miss you, Windows 7. Please don't leave. I was a party host, got a big Olay box of Windows 7 party freebies and a signed copy of Ultimate Edition. Good times. That's awesome. Do you still have the Signature Edition box? Damn straight I do. Uh, Windows 7, for me, was one of the greatest OS's ever made. Uh, I really love Windows 7. I will miss it after support goes off. It's a uh, Windows 7 professional service back one disk. No good memories. It was the OS that actually made me go into technology. This is my Dell Inspiron 580. It used to run Windows 7, but I've since upgraded it to Linux Zorn. But it still counts! I'm gonna miss you. Windows 7. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got some Windows. We'll have the eulogy ready by January 14th. Stick around, dot dot dot. Homemade Windows 7 install disk. Windows 7! Sh did we get lucky. Well, that was very nice. Well, thanks for showing me that. Thank you, Vio. Thank you, everyone, that helped make this installation commemoration the best one yet. And oh my gosh, there's even more guests here. What? We got, we really got to fix that door. I mean, we could be robbed. But anyway, since you guys are all here, I mean, we might as well have some fun in sending off Windows set. I just realized the date is wrong. The cake company really screwed up. That's supposed to say 2020. But anyway, for he's a jolly good system, for he's a jolly good system, for he's a jolly good system, which nobody can deny, which nobody can deny, which nobody can deny, for he's a jolly good system, for he's a jolly good system, for he's a jolly good system, which nobody can deny. Yeah, 
Microsoft. Microsoft, thank you so much for Windows 7. You guys are great. That was really loud. I'm gonna need hearing aids now. That was great. Guys, guys, hashtag long live Windows 7. Tweet it out, share the good word, catch the crazy, and pass it on. All right, yeah. Oh, uh, huh? One more thing, there was a, uh, hold on. There was uh, another package oh. for you. Okay, all right. Um, oh, this is huge. Um, who sent this? Uh, yeah, about that. Um, I might have. <laughs> you what? Might have. <laughs> you lost what? I might have lost the label. You lost the label? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh. You're you're a great delivery man. It's <laughs> it's pre open too. <laughs> Whoa. 